oncologist takes Lizzie's case, I guess you would say. They got to rerun all these tests. So we originally went to Jackson. We got all the biopsies, the scans, the blood work, all that done. And we were one day away from treatment. And we decided we wanted to come to MD Anderson because we realized how serious what Lizzie had was. So we come to MD Anderson. We met with Dr. Ahime. Mm -hmm. Ahime. 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 And she was a, she's a cool doctor. She just talks real fast, hard to understand. Uh, but we had to do all these tests for her. So we go through a whole nother week of same stuff we did. I think in I did. I had my blood drawn almost every day of the week. And I had to do so many scans, like a ultrasound of my heart, mammograms, ultrasound of my breast, again, biopsies on my breast, biopsy on my liver, uh, what else, CT scans, um, that was terrible, I had to drink this really nasty drink, and then... Is that the drink that made you feel like you peed on yourself? Yeah, pretty much, then I've I had to get, before. like, they inject me with some crazy probably radioactive crap it makes you feel like really warm like i felt like really hot like from head up and to my bottom so it was like really weird but got through all that doing the waiting game and in the meantime you know when i was in mississippi i went to a fertility doctor there and i'm just gonna be honest she was just she was cold she was just like, pretty much I had no hope on saving my eggs. And at the time, like I was going to just do the standard protocol because, you know, where I'm standing at, I'm at stage four. And we all, we all want to just jump on the treatment, you know, but they have those, you know, the clinical trials and we definitely want to do that. So that's what made us yeah. do the move to MD <clears throat> Anderson. But that lady, you know, she just, I don't know. She just didn't give me any hope at all. Like it was either do the treatment and not save or not save or save eggs like you know either or so um when i went to talk to my oncologist in mississippi though she did suggest another thing like uh called it's called zolodex where it kind of suppresses your ovaries kind of puts them to sleep while you're doing chemo and stuff like that at least she like told me that you know gave me some hope on i can at least kind of hopefully save them you know but that yeah. lady i don't know it was just, that day was like so bad so that's when i found out that it moved to my liver and the honestly, fertility thing. It's just too I much. honestly feel like the lady was being a realist at the time. You know, like you were going to yeah. get the regular old treatment that everybody else gets, and statistics say you was going to live five years, right? Yeah. So getting in this clinical trial, it made her percentage of living go from what, 5% to 37% or something like yeah. that? Yeah. So. She's got a lot of bit, better chance. She's changed her diet. She's all vegan now. She's uh, she's the only doing... thing like I've been doing is like yeah, trying to keep no dairy, no red meat, not even chicken. I'm just actually the only like kind of meat that I'm accepting is like fish, like clean fish, white fish, salmon, um, I don't know, whole grains, sprouted grains, a lot of leafy greens, vegetables, all that good and stuff. And I'm door dashing. <laughs> it's been tough, yeah. but, um, you know, it's crazy because, like, before Street Outlaws, I used to be really, really hardcore into fitness and health. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, before, I had some, I I know background before I health. Before introduced you to deer meat, mm -hmm. crawfish. Yeah, that too. Southern fried lifestyle. Fried turkey breast. Oh fried food. Dumplings. Food. Red beans and rice. Now, just because I'm changing the way I'm eating doesn't mean... You know, a lot of these people are saying, you oh, you're vegan, vegan, save the animals. You know, i doing this for a health situation right now. It's just, so you still right now, they, listen, from nowadays, here? nowadays, they add so much stuff. You guys don't even realize all this extra stuff they put in. You think you're just getting a nice steak. Well, think about it. There's probably so many freaking hormones injected to that, that poor cow that got slaughtered when you're eating that nice piece of meat. You look high. Oh huh? You look high. Oh, there you are. I'm yeah. high. <laughs> no, I'm so, not high. as y'all can see, Lizzie I'm tired, gets, okay? Lizzie I'm is, tired. She don't seem to feel no different no. or act no different. Like, if you if we wouldn't do any scans, we wouldn't even know she's got cancer. So, uh, so far, so good on that. Like, she still feels 100% normal. 
Uh, we're laying in the bed right now because it's so boring in Houston. Because every time you go somewhere, they try to steal your car or. No, it's terrible. Something. It's terrible. It's really terrible. So let's talk about like, Houston. Oh, we have, we've got two blown out tires from Curves. I did one. Lizzie did one. Yeah, we'll uh, start off in the beginning when I first got Well, hold on. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to hit that one now. <laughs> uh, we have one broken back window in her truck, and they stole her purse. I think that was a Chanel purse. Yeah. So I'm going to tell him what that thing cost. She told me it was on sale, but I know it wasn't. But no, it wasn't anyway, on sale. I didn't say that. Uh, <laughs> Let's see, what else? Oh, the other day we woke up. We're staying in an apartment. We have assigned parking spots. Yeah. We wake up and our car's gone. So we're like, God, and then stole our car. Like, I, I bought me a Mini Coupe because I've been wanting one forever. And it's easier to get around in Houston with it. And our Mini Coupe was gone. So we called the police department. We thought they stole it. But come to find out, for whatever reason, they still really can't tell us. But they decided to tow our car from our assigned parking area. So... Three hundred dollars later, we got our car back. Still, no good explanation of what happened. But all they, all they told us is if we don't want to get towed, for sure to park on the fifth floor. So we stay on the first floor. We got to go all the way to the fifth floor. Yeah. Ride the walk down one flight of stairs. Ride the elevator from floor four down to one, just so we can assure that our car don't get towed. So it's just miserable over here. Like I know a lot of people live in Houston, but we come from the country. Yeah. And like, I sure miss it. Traffic is terrible. The people stealing your stuff every time you turn around is terrible. Uh, I, I'm sorry, but they do not know how to drive around here. Uh, I mean, you forget it. Like, you know, we got good reaction times. We race for a living. You can be on the brake and the gas waiting at the red light. As soon as the light turns green, you go to go, and somebody's already honked, honked a horn at you. Oh, right? yeah. Like, <laughs> okay. oh, yeah, that happened the it's other like, day. Like, it's like they're what? just sitting there waiting. Like, as soon as the light I turns like, green, I was pop. on it. <laughs> so... All right, so let's get back to the clinical trial situation. So the main thing we were waiting to get back from the liver biopsy was the pee. It's got a, a, a genes. They go, so they do a liver, what's called a, I'm sorry, PDL a blood one. biopsy, right? That shows all the genes. We're going to go from the basics of gene deals. No. I, they did a blood biopsy of me, and it showed all my genes, and then it showed my mutated genes, okay? So I had a couple come up that had mutations. One of them was very important, which is called TP53. TP53 is a gene that actually, how it's majority of us pretty much should have it. Shrinks tumors. Yeah, it suppresses tumors. That's its job, right? Well, my TP53 is mutated. It's it's uh, damaged. The DNA is damaged. So um, that's what's causing. That actually, there's another gene that's mutated and pretty much I looked it up and it said, you know, when I was born from the start, I was born with this gene and about 90% of in my lifetime, I will get cancer no matter what. Like I was just born with the gene. I was going to have cancer no matter what. So that's a crazy deal on genes. Like no one don't realize the people say, oh, like you eat sugar and it's causing this. But I didn't have, it's a lot to do with genes, but you know, um, Nutrition, all that helps repair your cells to repair the damaged DNA. So, eating right definitely helps the fact, but regardless, um, I don't know. Once you have mutated genes, it's kind of your, you got to deal with it. It's just going to come up in your lifetime, and it just happened to me right now. So, um, and I feel like they should make it mandatory for everyone to do a blood biopsy to see their genes. Don't you think? Yeah. I think I should go get one. I don't know, but the liver biopsy, so we're, we were waiting for it to come back PDL1 positive or negative. So if it came back positive, that the PDL1 stands for your body's immune response on, uh, I think it's just cancer cells are fighting, fighting on its own. Um, and mine came back positive, so that was really good. So they had a clinical trial for PDL1 positive, which that means I am able. I'm qualified to do the immunotherapy. So that is huge. That is really, that's a plus. So I get to do immunotherapy first. Um, I guess that's not really a chemo. It's a, it's a different sort of chemo, but not as aggressive and toxic as a normal chemo would be. So um, that's a good start for me instead of just jumping on chemo and 
Yeah, so finally, Lizzie's body tested positive for something good because it's been nothing but negativity ever since we started this deal. Literally, yeah. Yeah. Yep. So, like I was saying, you're on the good side of the clinical trial, right? Yeah. But she's, I guess, yeah. She's read so much about genes and gene mutations, and she knows a lot about it now. It's but, so true. It's so crazy, though. Like. So, we're going to start it Thursday, May the 18th, right? Yeah, May the 18th. Yeah. Yeah. And tomorrow yeah. I get my, Monday I get my uh, egg, eggs out. So, it'll be nice and yeah. saved. The seven days she was waiting to get her liver biopsy back, she went ahead and done a fertility deal so she could freeze some eggs in case, you know, one day we want to have a kid. So, that's done. And Monday she gets them removed. Today is Sunday, Mother's Day. Yeah. So, that'll be tomorrow. I have been back and forth working on jangling. Uh, it's a two-hour drive one way to go to Craig's shop and work on my car in between Lizzie doing all these appointments. So, I haven't made every appointment. I try to make all the serious ones. And uh, her, her mom has been knocking all these appointments out. So tomorrow is the egg retrieval. And then I don't know, ain't no telling what you'll be doing Tuesday and Wednesday. But Thursday, you do Tuesday your first treatment. Tuesday and Wednesday, I'm catching up on all my appointments for No Prep Kings. I'm getting my hair done before my treatment. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Yeah. Even though I'm probably going to lose it, but just try to keep up with it while I can for now. And when that day comes, I'll work with it from there, I guess. Yep. So, uh, that's it. That's all the way up to date. The uh, bunch of tests, bunch of scans, biopsies, three different oncologists. Yeah. And, uh... Stole her purse, blew two tires out, got her, tar her car towed, froze some eggs. Now we're getting treatment. So that's uh that's pretty much it. I'll try to keep y'all updated on something else, but I now mean, I think that catches everybody up to date, right? Yeah. Uh Lizzie has been been very mean to me and her mama. She's mean. What? <laughs> <laughs> Here, you want to tell them some stuff? No, I don't know what to say. You talk Come to on, them. I got no oh. makeup on. Oh my god, I think they've established that by now. Guys, I look terrible. It's terrible. You look it's like terrible you look like Pocahontas. <laughs> <laughs> look how dark my hair is. The roots. Oh man, that's growth, everyone. Growth. It's nice, healthy hair growing. Yeah. Um, I have been taking a lot of good supplements. But, you know, ever since I changed my diet, I do feel better. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, me too. Ever since I watched you change your diet, it kind of made me feel better. <laughs> I haven't been able to do a lot of exercising because actually that IVF stuff, I don't even know. Like, it's, it's hard to explain. Well, it's easy to explain, but pretty much you got your ovaries on a woman's got two ovary sacs, right? And when you do the hormone medication, it makes you ovulate and fills your sack up with a bunch of eggs. I got almost over 20 eggs, so it feels like, I don't even know, they're both just way down. So I've been feeling like I'm just ready to get them out, ready to be done with that, and just start fresh, start exercising. I got the diet down packed, pretty much. Eat, drinking a lot of water, a lot of lemon water. Um, what else? I don't know. Alkaline. Yeah, alkaline water. I don't know. I've been so strict on like everything. Like reading ingredients on everything I buy. Everything. Like if I can't pronounce it, don't mess with it. So kind of just try to keep it as simple as possible. But even comes down to like your personal products. Like your body wash and like stuff like that. And it gets so high. T it's just too much. It gets a little overwhelming, but... I think once you make it a lifestyle, it'll be easy. Um, mm. right. <laughs> you ain't gonna do that. <laughs> what? I'm gonna be the only one I doing. I Bath and Body Works. It's cancer free. Yeah. Fragrances, dyes, dyes. It's called Legend. <laughs> yeah, Legend. Nothing wrong with that. 
legends have to use it. Yeah. I'm about to say you can't pronounce one thing. Well, probably water is no. the first thing. You can't even say that right. Water. 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 <laughs> All right, so that's an update. Yeah, guys. No, it's not very uh, formal and sitting at a couch. No. And all that, no, but this is like this is our life. We uh, fight Houston traffic, go to oh doctor's appointments, go work on cars. And I just want to go racing. Like I honestly, like I'm in bed ready. and watch Netflix. I am ready <laughs> to go racing. Who's with me? Hmm? Who's with me? You ready, ready to go racing? It's, I'm still ready to do some turkey hunting. No, I'm, I'm off that kick. Ready to burn some rubber. You kill one little turkey and then you're done for the year. I wish I could and be like you. And kick your butt and we'll be good. So what I'm planning on doing is if I outrun her this year, I'm going to steal that one clip of her falling and hitting the door and I'm going to post that right at the end of the run. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait. Till next time. See y'all later. Be, it's going to be a long time until you can post that. Check it.